So, Facebook competitions. Yep, they are really difficult to know what to do and how to do it properly. As I said before, there have been three changes in the last three years as to the rules. The first thing that you need to know is, is your Facebook page actually set up the right way? Are you running a Facebook business page for your business or are you running your business through a personal page? Now I know having a Facebook personal page set up seems like a really good idea. After all, it's easier to gather people to like your page. But if you're doing that, you're breaking Facebook's rules and they will close you down. Facebook are constantly looking for businesses who are doing this. It's against their rules and regulations, so they shut those pages down. So if you are doing that, you've got a bigger problem. You need to get that fixed first before you even worry about a competition. Because after all, why would you want to build up uh, your Facebook page only to have Facebook come in and shut it down? Now having a business page does change the rules for a competition. You see, you can run a competition on a business page at the moment without any third party software. However, on a personal page, you do have to run third party software. It used to be that you had to run third party software on both, but a recent change has seen that uh, change for um, business pages only. Now that saves you money, and I really do mean it saves you a lot of money when it comes to running your, uh, your competition. That's not to say that you shouldn't use them. Third party software uh, is really quite clever and it will help you with building up your database in third party areas like on your website. However, you don't have to use one compulsorily. But what you've got to do is think about the data. What data do you need? How are you going to gather it? Uh, and what are you going to do with it afterwards? Step one is in any competition, you really should be asking people to like your page, not like a post, like your page. And you'll see from the examples on this uh, page, some of the competitions that we've run, uh, these pages have large numbers of people uh, that like their page. And that's because it's been a condition of any competition that we've run on these pages. But most importantly, what we did was, is we gathered data on the web page so that we could market to the customers of these businesses uh, at different times. Because once the promotion is over, that's when the real marketing actually begins. The giveaway is just the sweetener so that you can gather the, the database up. Uh, and always think about when you're doing a competition, what additional information you can gather. It shouldn't just be name, address, phone number. They're the basics. But you should also be trying to get information about who these people are and why they're attracted to your business. What's the sort of problems that you're going to be able to solve for these businesses with your business? Not what problems you're going to solve with this competition. Have a look at some of these examples on the page. If you've got any questions, we would love to talk to you in person. So please shoot us an email uh, and give us your details and we will give you a call and have a chat about how a competition could work for your business. Um, alternatively, you can also give us a call at Inferno Marketing and Design. We'd love to talk to you uh, so that we can help you solve problems inside your business. If you're genuinely keen to run a promotion for your business using Facebook, then please give us a call. We would genuinely love to talk to you about it and help you get the most out of that promotion.